Wisconsin CDL Passenger Vehicles Test Question 1. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 3. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 4. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 5. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses. Reflectors Question 6. You must not allow rider to stand Between the wheel wells Within two feet of an emergency exit Within two feet of any window In front of the standee line Answer in front of the standee line. Question 7. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6 0 8 4 Answer 8 Question 8. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 9. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 6 
zero four answer zero question ten when is it best to wear your seat belt only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour always only if required by company policy only if your bus holds more than 27 people answer always question 11 which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 12. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must always have a red door light turned on be secured when the bus is being driven not have any signs stickers or marking near it all of the above answer be secured when the bus is being driven question 13 which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 14 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer All of the above Question 15 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted The next stop Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 16 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above Question 17 Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires Anywhere except the front wheels Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour Only on the front wheels On any or all of the wheels Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 18. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, 
may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. Buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 19. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15 25 50 20 Answer 15 Question 20 When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Always. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 21. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. Dark and poorly lighted as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 22. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Four. Six. Zero. Eight. Answer. Zero. Question 23. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 24 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 26. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Always have a red door light turned on All of the above Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven Question 27. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. 
tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 28. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher Spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 29. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 30. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 31. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25. 15. 20. 50. Answer. 15. Question 32. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards. 50 feet. 100 feet. 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 33. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 34. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Four. Zero. Six. Eight. Answer. Eight. Question 35. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 36. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. 
accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 37. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 38 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Always have a red door light turned on all of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 39. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 40. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Four. Six. Eight. Answer. Zero. Question 41. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20. 25. 15. 50. Answer. 15. Question 42. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 43. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 8 0 6 Answer 0 Question 44. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Answer. Tear gas. Question 45. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher and accident reporting kit. 
Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 46. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is dark and poorly lighted, as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 47. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 48. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 49. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 50. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 51. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 52. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 53. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet. Question 54. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50. 25. 20. 15. Answer. 
15. Question 55. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 56. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 57 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change After completing the lane change Before and after signaling the change All of the above Answer All of the above Question 58 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted As safe as possible, or the next stop The next stop Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 59 Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour On any or all of the wheels Anywhere except the front wheels only on the front wheels. Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 60 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments, Small arms ammunition, ORMD. Tear gas Emergency hospital supplies Answer Tear gas Question 61 The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so Accident reports will be accurate Law enforcement personnel can be called you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 62 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change Right after starting the lane change All of the above Answer All of the above Question 63 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. 
The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 64 a bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer all of the above. Question 65. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 4 8 0 Answer 0 Question 66. You must not allow rider to stand in front of the standee line between the wheel wells within two feet of an emergency exit within two feet of any window. Answer In front of the standee line Question 67. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 68. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 69. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 70. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 71 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 72. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. 
not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 73. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 20 15 25 Answer 15 Question 74. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 75. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 76. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 77. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 78. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher. Signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 79. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 80 If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 81. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. 
right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 82. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 83. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Always. Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 84. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 85. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop Dark and poorly lighted As safe as possible, or the next stop Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 86. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 87. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 88. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure Rider signaling devices are working Every handhold and railing is secure All of the above Answer All of the above Question 89. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 90. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Answer 
anywhere except the front wheels. Question 91. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 92 Never refuel your bus without a static chain in a closed building with passengers on board with any of the windows open with a higher grade of fuel Answer In a closed building with passengers on board Question 93 when you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Off the regular route. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 94. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 95 How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero, six, four, eight. Answer Zero. Question 96 Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 97. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.